Yo, what's good guys? Back in black, or black and back, whichever you prefer, with another NBA 2K21 gameplay. If you guys are new to the channel, and if you like basketball, drop a like and consider subscribing. I post entertaining gameplays weekly and on a variety of titles, and I'm almost at 50 subs. So any support you guys do give me, well, make sure you don't get sold by randoms in your next game. I know you guys will be happy with that one. And uh, yeah, I'll also be highly appreciative of your support. Anyways, speaking of randoms, you know what just might be worse than randoms? The AI this game be giving you. I mostly play Rec when I play this game, considering it's the fastest way to rep up. And the more I play the Rec, the more I realize how unrefined the matchmaking system is in this game. I'm not sure about anybody watching this video, but I personally do not have four other close friends who are like always online at the same time so I can just be in the wreck grinding. So, um, you know, usually I go in there with one friend and for whatever reason, instead of matching us up with other players, the game will, I don't know, it'll search for like 30 seconds and I guess like give up and uh, it'll give us like three average height artificial intelligences, if that's even a word. <laughs> And uh, even on the rare instances where we are matched up with other players, it's usually just one, maybe two. And the other team that has, basically the other team that has the most AI on it, it'll usually be the one where the people would just end up quitting, which leads to, uh, what's the word I want to use? Less than optimal gaming experience for the simple reason that, that the AI, it, it sucks in this game. The AI are horrible. So like in my head, I'm thinking if the matchmaking is going to be so horrible or so abysmal that you, you're going to act like you can't find me like two to three other people on the planet, on this side of the globe, in this country, in this state, in this county, you're going to act like you can't find me two to three other people that, that are playing the wreck. You're just going to throw me in there with some AIs like is it only searches for like 15 seconds like if you're gonna do that at least make the ai good that's the only point i'm trying to make hey if any of you guys are you know out there playing playing um you know 2k21 next gen on the ps5 and like when you play the rec is there do you ever experience like any days where they just like never they seem to like not have the ability to match you up with other people and you just constantly getting matched up with ais and uh you know People just be quitting out of the games all the time. Let me know if you experienced that. It's like, it's almost impossible to run this game unless, you know, you got a constant five or at least three or four, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's possible, but, you know, it's just, you more than likely are not going to have a good time because the way that people just be taking advantage of the AI in this game is, is quite a uh, horde, I guess is the word I want to use. Also, another thing I wanted to get, like anybody who's watching this video, another thing I wanted to ask your opinion on is like, d doesn't it feel like the AI is just very static and like, it seems like they move with like no intent whatsoever. It definitely feels like they have like no scripting for instinct what's like at all. And like, since the game has came out, the go-to strategy has been like, for anybody who has an AI guarding them is just, you know, catch the ball at the three point line in the corner and maybe jab step a couple times then boom shoot the three and just like if you're in if you're decent you can green and that's just the strategy the whole game or you know if you're even better you take it a step further and you will just you know dribble a little bit hit him with a snatchback of some sort and then you'll be wide open and then boom green for three and people will just do this all game and just simply because the ai like will not adjust and like i don't know why they don't like is there is there no way to do something about that like and the reason i know this is like this is a horrible like such a bad thing is because i do it myself and because I, I have a two-way three-point shot creator so it's, it's, it's only right i do the same thing i don't condone the strategy but you know I'm, i am going to take advantage of it if everybody else is going to do the same thing my issue is like i'm saying i'm saying something because like gameplay like this it takes away from the skill and the diversity also i i just feel like the artificial intelligence you know should be intelligent enough to realize that somebody is spamming threes and you know adjust you know step up play them tight like you know something somebody would do in real life because this is a basketball simulator right you know, i don't know let me know if i'm tripping
another issue I have with the artificial intelligence in this game is that when they are like computer generated and by that I mean it's like not when somebody quits out and it's an AI but when they like don't when they searching for somebody and they don't find anybody and they just give you an AI why is it always like they always just come in at like 5'11 and they're like a, what, 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 I don't even know they play like they're like a 60 overall and then they proceed to get matched up with the other teams what 611 max wingspan post score and it's just like what, what, what are we supposed to do about that uh we can't leave the person who we're guarding because you know the way the build system is in this game is everybody can shoot so for the most part you're just kind of in between a rock and a hard place because you have to let the ai get cooked or you know risk leaving your man wide open and i just feel like um they could do what, what they could do is just i don't know maybe make the computer the same height or at least within one to two inches and you know within the matchup to make it more fair i also really detest the way the ai gets back on defense again it's like they have no game sense when it comes to defense and as contact heavy as contact dunk heavy as this game is if i had a dollar for every and one i saw scored on a on an ai i would be as rich as 2k is right now you know what i'm saying like let me know if you know what i'm saying and offensively man like don't even get me started it it, it doesn't matter if it's a computer generated ai or it's somebody who quit mid game and they actually have tendencies these dudes they have some of the worst shot selection i have ever seen in my life it's like the worse than the shot selection of like a, a seven year old playing pickup at the park you know what i'm saying it's like one of those things that makes you question why are they even called artificial intelligence and i don't know I, i'm petitioning for like a feature where like the ai cannot like they they just do not have the ability to shoot the ball after somebody passes it to them unless that person that passed them the ball press square or x I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta make sure I say square or X. Shout out to anybody who's on Xbox. I say this because sometimes, you know, you'll just be chilling and you'll get double teamed because, because the AI is simply on the court, and that just speaks volumes to how bad the AI actually are. By the way, just so you guys keep that in mind. But yeah, you you will pass the ball to a wide open AI to avoid the double team or triple team because you know that's all people do once they realize you got a couple of AI on your team, and uh, you know. You don't want them to shoot because the odds of them making it are so low anyway. So, you know, that being said, they'll, they'll pull the shot anyways, even though you're spamming the X or uh, A, whether you're on PlayStation or Xbox again. I got to make sure I differentiate. But yeah, you'll be calling for the ball and they'll pull the shot anyways. And yeah, it's just like, why? And what's worse than them even pulling the shot is that if they actually do respond to you spamming the call for ball button, they will pull up mid shot and pass out of the shot and it's not like these ai have badges because i i doubt you know that you know 2k gives these guys any badges they'll just pass out a shot and they'll throw it out of bounds and this is the kind of stuff that will lose you games uh, and it's really annoying and i don't know i know i can't i can't be the only one experiencing this kind of stuff especially if you don't play with a full five all the time all that being said i don't think uh ai should be allowed to shoot unless they make like the percentages of the makes go up for them because they be taking some wild unauthorized shots that i don't even think random actual people would take like ball ones and pro ones and stuff like that also uh i was just thinking in my head something that they could also do to improve the situation with the ais is especially if they're not going to improve the matchmaking they could definitely improve the system with the ais is um I was thinking they could add some different archetypes of AIs that are actually presented to us when you know when we're actually playing in the rec. Um, some variety would definitely go a long way. So, for instance, let's say you're a point guard and your friend, your one friend that you're playing with, is also a point guard. If you guys don't find any actual small forwards or power forwards or big men, they should definitely have some AIs that you know actually fit those archetypes in our you know some seven foot some six eleven like some big men ais uh some other ais who are like sharp shooters so basically that'll make it so you can't just people on the other team can't just leave the ai and come double team you all the time which is basically what's happening all the time in the wreck now 
because the AIs are so piss poor and you can just leave them and know that they're going to miss when they shoot. So yeah, some sharpshooter AIs would definitely also be a big help. Basically, what I'm saying is to flesh out, you know, the types of AIs that they have and make them more viable. Because if you do that, then um you can, you know, and I don't know, make it seem like a real basketball game instead of just a, uh, I'm going to leave this AI over here and go double team the point guard so we can spam square and get mad steals because I don't know that I feel like that's kind of what it's come to right now but hey what do you guys think that's just my opinion let me know down in the comments how you feel if you guys play uh direct in 2k21 next gen and uh yeah do you guys think they can make the AIs more viable do you like how they are now would you prefer to play with AIs as opposed to randoms uh also let me know how you feel about that down in the comment section I'm gonna let the rest of this gameplay play out if you guys enjoy, uh, leave a like and subscribe. And I also want to thank you for listening to me rant. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. This Black guy. Everybody die? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> All right, bitch.